most welcome to Historia Spanala, History Reconnaissance. This is the M551 Sheridan in the Vietnam War. A multitask light US tank. It could be air dropped at low velocity. It was able to swim across small rivers. Armed with a 152mm gun launcher that could fire both conventional ammunition and anti tank missiles. So, join us and see the Sheridan operated from the inside and on the ground in Vietnam. And please, like, share, and subscribe. It means a lot to us. Driver, stop! Production of the Sheridan started in 1966. 1,662 M551s were built between 1966 and 1970. Due to problems with the supply of main gun ammunition and concerns that the new aluminum tanks were vulnerable to mines and anti-tank rockets, the first Sheridans did not arrive in South Vietnam until January 1969. Another worry were also that they were not as capable of jungle busting as the Patton tanks. Shortly after arriving to Vietnam, the worries were proven real. On 15th of February 1969, an M551 from the 4th Cavalry detonated a pressure-triggered landmine that breached its hull, igniting the 152mm shells, resulting in an explosion that destroyed the tank. In late 1969, nine Sheridans from the 12th Cavalry forded a river near the DMC when three of the M551's detonated mines completely destroying them. On March 1971, five Sheridans from the Black Horse Regiment were lost in one day to RPG fire. All five vehicles burst into flames and were totally destroyed. Driver, move out! Driver, stop! Gunner, missile, moving tank. Up. Identified. Fire. On the way. Target, cease fire. Grenade. Command grenade means to fire smoke grenades from the launchers, four on each side of the turret. The commander aims the turret and fires the grenade with a projector control box. The launchers can be fired one at a time, left or right, or in a full salvo of eight. That is selected here. Remove the pin. Fire. The M551 s in Vietnam service were not equipped with Shillelagh missiles. One factor was probably the lack of an armored threat. This also provided more space for conventional ammo, HE and canister rounds. 
In January 1969, the third squadron of the Force Cavalry had received its Sheridans. Initially, the opinions of the tank's armor and reliability had been low. One of the unit's Sheridans had been destroyed by a mine and its onboard ammunition detonated. The crews were really worried since their previous tank, the M48 Patton, would have survived that with just some road wheels blasted off. March 10th that year, east of Tainin City, a North Vietnamese unit tried to attack Troop A, 3rd Squadron, 4th Cavalry Regiment, during the night. A soldier in the listening post heard them moving and alerted his superiors. When the North Vietnamese came closer, Sheridans with night vision scopes were ready and opened fire with canister rounds, each containing 9,000 deadly steel darts flechettes. The NVA soldiers left standing fled. Daylight revealed 40 dead in the field, including a battalion commander, and confidence in the Sheridan at least somewhat restored. To fire the coaxial machine gun, the gunner switches to the coax mode. Then he switches the stabilizer switch on to be able to fire accurately on the move. At the same time, the loader checks the loading of the machine gun and switches the safety switch to the fire position. When the gun is ready to fire, he steps back and announces UP. Sheridan losses were heavy during normal operations, largely due to landmines and anti-armor weapons, but were especially heavy after the start of the Cambodian campaign in May 1970, when the 11th Armored Cavalry was thrown into the fight. It became a common scene to see melted Sheridan hulls with sunken steel turrets, gun tubes pointing towards the sky. The M551's armor was not intended to rebel anything heavier than a machine gun round so the tanks were highly vulnerable to landmines and rocket-propelled grenades. Crews often preferred to ride on top of their Sheridans for safety. In all, 100 M551s were lost in Vietnam, though some of these losses included breakdowns in the field. Time to replenish ammunition. The Sheridan had a limited ammunition load. Normally, only 20 rounds and 8 missiles. Since the M551s in Vietnam were not equipped with missiles, this increased the basic load on conventional rounds. Their low ammunition stock was often compensated by their combination with ACAVs, M113s, that carried extra rounds. The missiles are carried horizontally and loaded base first, and then secured with care. The heat round for the Sheridan is combustible and fragile, inflammable, and must be protected by a moisture barrier bag and a 9-ply ballistic baggie. It's loaded under the vehicle with its nose pointed down. Care must be taken not to harm the cartridge case. When the round is fired, the cartridge case burns. No hot brass is ejected back into the turret. In wet weather, the Sheridan suffered from problems with a fire control system and other electrical problems. In one tragic incident, an electrical malfunction caused the Sheridan traveling in a convoy to fire a canister round loaded in his gun into a vehicle ahead of it, a personnel carrier whose troops were riding on top. Up! On the way!
The Sheridan tank in Vietnam was appreciated by some for its firepower, but despised by others for its thin armor and poor reliability. The crews operating these tanks knew full well their shortcomings, but made use of their strengths to achieve some hard-won successes. That's all folks. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.